Hello everyone, this is Shovik and you are watching College Level Physics. Today we are going to give a brief review about the book Mathematical Physics by H. K. Das and Dr. Rama Varma. And first I am going to show you the contents of this book. Like if you can see there are lots of things given in this book like review of vector algebra, differentiation of vectors integration of vectors and then orthogonal carpilinear coordinates then double integrals then applications of the double integrals triple integrals application of triple integral gamma function beta function theory of errors Fourier series then differential equations of first order then second order then Euler Lagrange equation then Cauchy Euler equation then differential equation of other types couple differential equations applications to differential equations calculus of variation maximum minimum function complex number expansion of trigonometric functions then functions of complex variable analytic function then conformal transformation complex integration Taylor and Lorentz series the calculus of residue then series solution of second order differential equation then legendar function bessel function hermite function lagar function abstract vector spaces then vectors in real space then linear transformation basis of null space row space column space real inner product spaces then determinants algebra matrices rank of matrix con consistency of linear system of equations and their solutions eigenvalues eigenvector Kelly Hamilton theorem diagonalization and then first order Lagrange linear and nonlinear partial differential equation then and so on then application of partial differential equations then integral transforms then Laplace transforms inverse Laplace transform then del Dirac delta function tensor analysis and that's it and it's a very lot vast syllabus i would say and it is a very useful book for the undergraduate physics students and it is also helpful for mathematics and engineering students as well and it this book covers almost everything you need to know in your undergraduate degree course like physics or maths or engineering say and i am going to show you some of the chapters of this book like i'm going to show you the fourier series so as if you can see the the first introduction of this chapter is periodic functions then there is a graph and then Fourier series definition of it then the conditions Dirichlet condition for a Fourier series advantages of Fourier series useful integrals all you need to know is given here and then the expression of a naught then a n and b n is also given here and there are lots of examples solved in this book which is why I like this book most because it is always easy to learn by looking at the solutions of a problem if you are a beginner to this mathematical physics then there are certain exercises given at the end of this chapter every chapter there you will find some good number of examples exercises and this will help you in your practice then Fourier series for discontinuous function then some conditions are present here there some examples are given here and which is solved in a step by step manner there is no step jump like in Boas or Arfkin Weber book so you would find a very useful of this book if you are a beginner and I would definitely suggest you to go through this book 
and you can see there are lots of exercise after every section of a chapter then comes the even function and odd function then there are some conditions and also examples and problem solutions there are lots of problems given in this book which is why this book has a number of page around around 1300 to 1400 so there are lots of problem given in this book if you can practice this you would definitely be a master of this subject and I am showing you some other chapters like suppose legendar function so here you have the legendar equation then comes the recurrence relation then you have the legendar polynomial and then the legendar function of the second kind and general solution of legendar equation mm. then you have Roderick's formula and so on and also there are problems and solutions are given in this chapter as well and there are legendar polynomial and the drawing of the polynomials this is five to six polynomials here given which is enough for remembering and then the examples are given there are lots of examples present in this book so if you are a beginner of mathematical physics you should definitely buy this book or at least borrow from the library which would be really helpful for you and then comes the Bessel function so if I am going to review all of this chapter it would be impossible for me to do so so if you have any question please comment on this video and if you really like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching this video take care goodbye